Chicken Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What up, Tiger Lily Squad? Gang, gang. As I look at this thing, I have Tinder open, child. Let's close out of that, though. Close out of that, duh. Tiger Lily Squad, how you living, how you breathing, how you feeling? It is your girl, Essence of Shay. What's what's good? What's what's good, y'all? Uh, don't worry, I have a tutorial on this here because I know y'all gonna ask me. But we haven't had a discussion in about two weeks, so let's get into the jizz. So you know, as usual, I have my notes. And this is going to be on Anchor as well. So I got to pull that up so we can get to recording, honeys. Okay, so in today's episode, we will be talking about emotional attachments. So I've been in several relationships. Not a lot. Come on. That made it sound like OD. But like when I say relationships, I mean friendships as well. And I feel like the common denominator with a lot of them that don't work out is that um, I get emotionally attached too quickly. Um, and that that can be a downside for myself because um, I expect too much from people. So in turn, I get disappointed. So I wanted to look up what is, you know, I have my notes. And then I put down some stuff as to what I was thinking. And I wanted to look up the definition of emotional attachments. And it means having feelings of concern and care for someone and not wanting the friendship slash relationship to end. So in that grand scheme of things, I feel like we all have some sort of emotional attachment when we get into a relationship of any form with somebody of importance, do we not? We don't want that to end, we don't want them to disappear. So I looked at another definition and it says, feelings of closeness and affection that sustain meaningful relationships can be without sex or romance. So what I was saying before, it can be friendship, uh, family, it doesn't have to be an intimate relationship. Into although, Friendship, relationships, and family can be some form of intimacy. Intimacy doesn't have to be sex. So we'll just like say in all relationships in general. So with that being said, I guess I can be honest and say, yes, I do get emotionally attached to people that I um, feel are important and who I want in my life. I think what becomes the issue are the unhealthy attachments. So um, I did some research and I also kind of compared and contrast my life to see if, you know, these are some things that may be a red flag. And hopefully if I read some of these things and give you some kind of feedback, you can sit down and think, do I have some healthy attachment issues? Um, when it comes to people in general that I may need to work on because that may be coming off meh, not so good and toxic. So um, one of the unhealthy attachments is relationships have some sort of codependency. Um, but when you feel you cannot have fun with the, without them, wh let me reread that. Relationships have some sort of codependency, but when you feel you cannot have fun, be with your friends, or be happy on your own without them, that is unhealthy and can lead to unhealthy codependency and unfulfillment. So um, with me, I remember being in relationships and I would just give so much to this relationship that everything else that was important to me kind of fell, um, kind of fell to the wayside. And my world would just kind of be surrounded by that individual. And this is uh, like romantic relationship. Um, so it was some sort of codependency that kind of, kind of manifested. And in my last uh, situation, it kind of was like that. Um, 
we were just very codependent on each other. Well, we would do everything with each other. Um, we would hang out with friends, but then it wouldn't be long before we rushed back home to be with one another. I don't know if that, that can be deemed bad and good to a point because when you guys start to live your own life, for me, I started to feel like, yo, what, why you don't want to hang with me no more? Like, what's the problem? That, that becomes unhealthy. Um, so that's one. Two, feeling like you cannot live without them and negative thoughts. I have never had this um, done to me, but I've heard stories with other people who feel like without this person, their life has no meaning. Without this person, they cannot be happy. Without How can I live without this person? And um, I always tell them, like, you lived without them. Believe it or not, you had a life <laughs> before this person came around. Um, so that's another thing. Number three, you become a detective. Want to know what they're doing, where they are, who they're with. Are they with someone that they like more than you? Extreme trust issues, norm, like extreme trust issue, issues. Normality is normal when it, it's coming to your partner's past history and personal circle, but researching years back into you guys' ex may be an issue. So these are things that I'm just writing. So as I read it aloud, it's just like, girl, what? But I could break it down. So what I was saying is like, we become detective, detectives. So when you feel like you can't live without them, do they like somebody more than you? You start to research and try to get into their phone um, and see what's going on. You start going onto their Instagram and looking at pictures way back in the way back that really ain't got nothing to do with you because y'all didn't know each other then and if you did you weren't even a thought as far as like a relationship goes and then you start bringing up things from like the past that had nothing to do with you you know what i mean like if the past is affecting your future then have conversations but if the past clearly was way before y'all that really don't have nothing to do with you you know what i'm saying like I can just break it down like this. <laughs> before you, be you, be why, whatever you want to say, before you has no bearing on y'all's relationship unless it is bringing some kind of problems into now. Does that make sense? Like if you had sex with your best friend and you're still friends with the best friend now, and you seem to value the best friend more than the person you're with, then that can be a problem. But if you guys had sex in the past, and you guys moved on from that, and you just decided to be best friends, and it has no bearing or no negative effect or no anything with your current relationship, that shouldn't even be a topic of discussion. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, so things like that can come off unhealthy. Um, number four, you become unhealthy and toxic when you think their lives should revolve around you and everything good is because of you. So I had a relationship where like, I started off my YouTube channel with when I was in a relationship with them and they were giving me ideas and da da da. And then when it started to pop off, they made it seem like without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. And without them, like, my YouTube channel would suck. They made it seem like if I was hanging out with my friends, like, they had to be there as well. Because there was no reason for me to hang out with my friends without them. Like, they wanted to be included in every aspect of my life. And sometimes it's okay. Not sometimes. It is okay to have separate lives outside of the relationship. The relationship, of course, is a priority. Don't don't put that under everything else, except for God, you know? But 
you should have your relationship and then you should have your relationship with your friends and maybe all y'all can hang out together but not all the time does that make sense am, am, am i grasping that because that was a major red flag for me but i just love the person so much so i just was like okay whatever and but then after a while i grew resentment and i just didn't want to rock with you no more so i was out um number five this may happen if your self-esteem is low do you feel that losing them means losing your happiness and this is what i was saying like earlier before in the beginning um it becomes an unhealthy attachment when you feel if this person is not in your life anymore, then your life is over with, then there's no more meaning, there's no more happiness. Of course, this person adds joy and adds love and all this good stuff to your life, but if they're gone, that does not mean that that all stops. Of course, we go through a little patch where it's just like,